Wales a divided country on immigration, say anti-racism campaigners. A survey conducted on behalf of Hope Not Hate suggested most people, 57%, believe immigrants have changed their local area for the better. However 43% of respondents said they have made things worse. Opinion was almost evenly split on whether people were worried, 46%, or not, 48%, about the arrival of new immigrants in their community. The survey also suggested there is great concern about the lack of opportunities for young people, the decline of the high street, and poverty in Wales. As part of campaign group Hope Not Hate's first wide-ranging analysis of identity in Wales, registered opinion pollsters Focal Data conducted an online survey of 1,043 people in Wales between 27 March and 2 April 2021. Immigration and a multiracial society. Responses to Hope Not Hate's survey in Wales. 56% on the whole, immigration has been a good thing. 44% on the whole, immigration has been a bad thing. 66% having a wide variety of backgrounds and cultures as part of British culture. 34% having a wide variety of backgrounds and cultures has undermined British culture. 53% Britain is a successful multicultural society where people from different backgrounds generally get along well. 47% Britain's multiracial society isn't working and different communities generally live separate lives. Source. Focal Data Online Survey of 1,043 People in Wales, March to April 2021. Asked to describe Wales, the most popular term used by participants was, welcoming, chosen by a third, 33%, of all respondents. This was followed by, divided, 20%, uncertain, 20%, and, safe, 20%, most respondents, 54%, agreed with the idea that immigrants often do jobs Welsh people do not want to do, and 42% said immigration was a good thing for Wales because of the nation's aging population. But there was also a widespread view that immigrants have made it harder for Welsh people to get jobs, 42%, and that immigrants do not want to integrate, 40%. Asked whether people agreed or not with the idea that you cannot be proud of your national identity these days without being called racist, 49% agreed with the sentiment, whilst a quarter disagreed. 